what was it like going down to Favre and trying to get him to unretire? What was that like? Walk that was a chore, that. man. I mean, that was that was not easy. I think I think Jared and Ryan and I thought we were going to fly down there. He was going to go, oh, guys, you know, let's get the band back together and get on the car and go. And we got there, like, I don't know, 9, 30, 10 at night. You, Jared Allen, and Ryan Jared, Longwell. Jared, Ryan Longwell, and myself yeah. flew down there, got to his house. Everybody knew about it but him. So his wife was in on it and all that. What so do you mean? He didn't know you were coming? No, they were keeping it kind of a, a surprise. So we, we went but down. But did they know that you were coming? They knew we were coming, but Brett didn't. No, but did they know you were coming to take him back? Oh, yeah. yeah they, they knew? Yeah, yeah, they all knew. Okay. Yeah, yeah they wanted him to play. And, okay. You know, and so we get down there, and we were like, oh, you know, hey, great to see everybody. <laughs> and he's like, hey, you know, how have you guys been? How's it going? Good. 20 minutes later, he, where did he go? He went to bed. <laughs> so we're sitting on the couch. What do you mean house. he went to bed? We're like, what do you mean he went to bed? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What do you mean he went to bed? And so we're, we're like, this is not good. This, you know. Not going well. It's not going well. So I barely slept. So we get up in the morning, and we're sitting there kind of having coffee, and he comes up, and he's like, let's go, you know, you know, Brett's, you know, he's a, he's a cowboy, so you sure. ride the fences in his little ATV, mm -hmm. and he has to check and make sure that nothing broke in his fence line. Uh-huh. So we went and rode his fences and took a couple hours to talk, and at one point, I about strangled him and said, if you don't come on this plane with us, we look like the biggest idiots that ever walked the earth. Uh -huh. And along with a lot of people in the organization. And uh, talk about putting all your eggs in, in one basket. What do you right? say to that? You know, Brad, he don't, he don't care. You know, it's mm -hmm. like, <laughs> but, but he, he, I think he wanted to play. I, th I just think, you know, go looking back now, there was, there was obviously everybody knew about the, the stuff with New York. And I, I think it mm -hmm. was just a matter of some distractions and off the field stuff that was probably, he was worried about getting in the way, and, and maybe it did that, that 2010 season, but anytime you can be around Brett in a locker room setting, it's worth it, so I don't care how bad the season is. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.